Hi, I'm Nate, and this is a video tutorial on how to transfer and then restore a ProLoQuota Go vocabulary backup file using iTunes file sharing from any computer to a device. You can use this to reload a customized vocabulary if ProLoQuota Go is deleted or want to transfer a customized vocabulary to a different device. To transfer and restore a ProLoQuota Go vocabulary through iTunes file sharing, follow these steps. Open the iTunes application on the computer from where you will be restoring a backup. If your iTunes window does not have a sidebar on the left side of the iTunes window, that means it's not visible. To solve this, go up to the top menu and click on View, and then click on Show Sidebar from the top menu. For Windows, click the button in the top left corner to access the preferences and select Show Menu Bar. Once the menu bar is visible in iTunes, click on the Views tab, then click on Show Sidebar. If you're connecting your device to a computer you do not usually sync your device to, be sure to disable iTunes automatic syncing. This is so you do not overwrite your device's contents because iTunes will, by default, sync the device automatically. It is important that if you are attaching your device to a new computer, you will need to change this setting. For Mac, make sure iTunes is the active application, and then select the iTunes menu at the top left corner of the screen, next to the Apple icon. In the submenu, click on Preferences. Then click on the Devices tab in the window that appears. Click the checkbox for Prevent iPods, iPhones, and iPads from syncing automatically, then click OK. For Windows, click the button in the top left corner to access the Preferences. Click on the Preferences, then click on the Devices tab in the window that appears. Click the checkbox for Prevent iPods, iPhones, and iPads from syncing automatically, then click OK. Be aware that if you leave Prevent iPods, iPhones, and iPads from syncing automatically selected, you will have to manually click on the Sync button in iTunes to load new apps, music, videos, etc. onto your device from the computer since automatic syncing is disabled. Connect your device to your computer with a dock connector cable and click your device's name in the iTunes left sidebar. Then click on the Apps tab in the iTunes main submenu. Then scroll all the way down to the very bottom and then click on ProLoQuota Go. Then click Add. Navigate to the location where you have saved your backup file. The backup will end in .p2gbk. Then select the file or files to upload it to ProLoQuota Go on your device. Then click on Open. For ease of recognition, you can rename your backup file by clicking on it. Wait a second, and after a second, click on the file name again. Just make sure that you leave the .p2gbk file extension. Once you have uploaded your backup to ProLoQuota Go on your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch, open ProLoQuota Go on your device and go to the Options view. To open Options View on an iPad, tap on the Options button, the gears, on the bottom right corner of the toolbar. To open Options View on the iPhone or iPod Touch, tap the Views button, the double overlapping squares, and then tap on Options. Scroll down to General Options and then tap on Backup. Tap Import Backups. Then select the backup that you want to import. For this tutorial, I want to restore Nate's core word. When prompted, tap on Import. In the pop-up menu that appears, do one of the following. Tap Restore Now to restore the backup to the current user, or tap Later to restore the backup at a later time. For this tutorial, I'm going to tap on Restore Now. To restore the backup, tap on Restore Nate. Note. If you select a backup from a different user on your device than the one that is currently active, you'll be asked what you would like to do. You can either overwrite the current user with the backup from the other user, 
or you can switch to the other user and restore it from the selected backup file. In addition, any ProloQuotaGo backups from versions prior to 2.0 will appear in the ProloQuotaGo1.x user backup section. When restoring a 1.x backup, you will only have the option to restore the current user with the vocabulary of the backups. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact support.